nice and pretty fast. A little bit over that way. Look at that. That's a, I think it's decent. It's on a thread. Okay, this bus was just literally hanging by a thread with the lure and I couldn't get him, I nearly lost him. As soon as I grabbed him, the lure came out, so I just put the lure back where it was. It just literally fell out, so I just managed to keep the tension on around the swirling waves. So, yeah, really happy to get this one because uh, definitely could have lost him. I've got the 90 gram enticing minnow on. It's really rough seas and I want to get out far and also make a splash so it can be actually seen uh, there and keep good contact with the lure because it's heavier it won't get blown around so easy in the sea yeah it's not my favorite conditions I'd definitely rather it smaller but when you get a big swell like this you really need to find a place where the waves are breaking out a uh, long distance and sort of rolling along rather than crashing down too hard. There's, it, there's some depth to the water here, it's still quite deep. I know even at low tide there's water here, so that way fish will be able to come up through this channel, you know, searching for food. I'll use this 90 gram very similar how I would the smaller version so I'd wind up the slack and just keep tension all the time just using you can hardly see it but small taps with the rod tip just lots of little taps almost like shaking especially over rocks and that will keep that that water uh, that lure splashing through the top with a good action Okay, I hooked up to something good there, right on the inside. I'm on the 90 gram, ah, it's coming right close. Ah. Good that I got a good leader on, I can feel that leader. It's gonna wash him up. Ah. Working. Okay, it's big seas today, that's a nice bass. It just took this 90 gram enticer I'm using, enticer minnow right on the inside. I'm using this heavy lure because it's such strong seas. And to make a good splash, keep a bit of control of the lure really. So yeah, I'm really pleased with that one. Okay, it's early morning. I can see a cormorant out there. We need to lure right out here. It's a nice rip going out. At the moment, I'm using the uh, enticer top water minnow. Yeah, I'm on. Yeah. That rocky bit there. Got it over for the minute. It's going that way. It's a decent pass, I think. Over that rock. Just need to keep him this side of this rock here. He gets hit by a wave. <laughs> oh, I jumped in after that and got it. He came off the hook. Whew. Don't believe it. <laughs> he was stunned for a minute. Okay, this is the one that nearly escaped on the uh, entice uh, minnow, 50 grams. Quite some swell, but um, yeah, tide's pushing up now, and uh, yeah, I'm hoping there'll be more of these pushing up as well. I'm just going to try and get out here. Looks good into that channel there. I 
put on the uh, minnow top water because there's some really shallow, rock, shallow rocky areas. Plus it's the, really got the maximum casting distance. So it looks really bassy here. Yeah, it's definitely uh, bigger conditions that I'd, lo that I'd like, but for sure it can catch bass in this. So the waves are breaking sort of fair way out and then they're rolling along, which is ideal. Gives the bass the cover to come all the way in. And it's not too strong, like pounding down. You know, just vary that retrieve a bit, just splash it along the top. Using lots of little taps of that rod there. That's like something to have in a go. I'm on. I'm just gonna try and keep it up. Let's keep it up on the top. Grimey, it's big. Keep it on that surface. And get it through these rocks here. Ah, that line just... That's a good size bass. Just don't want to get the line on anything. Really good bass. Okay, now that is the biggest bass so far. That's a really nice, well into the double figures, that one. Um, I was fishing further along and I looked down the coast and I thought it looked really good. So I wondered if I could get down and uh, wade out a bit. So. <laughs> Oh dear, okay. There definitely won't be a problem about bassy in the lure. There'll be enough visibility in the water to catch because in between the ways it goes there's kind of nice little lulls and sometimes some very long lulls, some really nasty ledges out there. It looks so good in there. It's a kind of there's a big ledge and then a deep spot. And I think the bass will be over just before the ledge or just where it goes shallow a big one it's just going to hold him in that swell he's big they sometimes use up a lot of energy thrashing around which is okay by me uh, it's just it's a difficult when the wave comes. You keep the tension on because the holes
can't believe it. That is a beautiful bass. That's bass number two. Another really big double figure. It's just, uh, I've been blessed on this trip. I can't believe it. It's a nice double figure, all right. Yeah, lovely bass. Been fishing about for an hour or so, and. Um, just change position and um, just cast a few along a ledge and bam this big one hit it made a really hard run I thought I was gonna lose it to the rocks but um, yeah just managed to bring it round and um, yeah really pleased with that one Feel like that it's a double figure. I can get in there. Yeah, it's a lovely double figure. 